The FSR 3 frame generation mod by Luke FZ really has breathed new life into old GTX cards, especially the GTX 1650, which was starting to fall behind. In today's video, I'm going to share five games that, in my opinion, saw the biggest benefit from the frame gen mod. Enjoy. The Last of Us Part 1 ran so beautifully with the FSR 3 frame generation mod injected into the game. So, just to show you my settings quickly, uh, in terms of display, I'm at 1080p FSR on quality, and then for uh, graphic settings, I'm using a mixture of medium and low generally, and a couple of things on very low. But uh, character textures and dynamic uh, objects level details medium. So previously without the mod, this game ran like absolute dog shit on my computer. So just bear in mind, I am recording at the moment. But uh, this section over here, even at very low, uh, my frames would go down to about 20-25 FPS. Now on a mixture of low and medium, I'm getting almost 60 FPS whilst recording the last of us runs so beautifully on this frame gen mod or with this frame gen mod guys um the cutscene crashing was fixed in 0.7.6 the best version of the mod currently i'd say for the last of us is 0.8.0 it's got the best average fps as well as just slightly the best one percent lows as you can see the gameplay is smooth like butter very playable on the gtx 1650 what is the next game ladies and gents the next game on the list is alan wake 2. so alan wake 2 i probably say is the game that got the biggest benefit from the fsr 3 frame generation mod previously in the forest in saga section on the gtx 1650 laptop no matter which settings you use you could be on ultra performance you would still go down into the 20s whereas now i'll show you the settings i'm using after in injecting the mod uh borderless balance dlss generally my settings are on low to avoid texture pop out but i put texture filtering on medium global illumination i put on um on medium shadow filtering on high screen uh, screen space ambient occlusion on uh terrain quality i put on high and then scattered object density i put on high and then uh fun fact nvidia driver 546.17 uh actually helps you a little bit with texture pop out uh food for thought um and then currently uh, the best version of the mod i'd have to say is 0 0.8.0 .0. so guys as mentioned previously um before the mod you could do whatever you want you could put the settings as low as you wanted this section over here you'd be getting 20 to 25 fps on the 1650 laptop and as you can see the fps is going up to the 50s here i cannot believe how well this game runs with the, the frame generation mod i actually think i want to replay this game now boy oh boy oh boy dead space remake really benefits from the fsr3 mod so um just to show you my settings quickly i am on a gtx 1650 laptop so i want you to bear that in mind so generally before the mod i was playing on a mixture of low and medium fsr quality now i'm playing at ultra on quality and i'm still getting in the region okay so it's just gonna the fps is just going down after i change my settings or go to settings but you can see uh, on ultra settings, the game looks a shitload better than it does at medium or low. And on ultra settings, I'm getting in the late 40s. Okay, this is a little bit of a glitchy section here. But I generally get between 50 to 70 FPS. Guys, I cannot explain to you how much more beautiful and how much more fun the FSR 3 mod makes Dead Space Remake on the 1650. So guys, the best version of the mod at the moment. I did a video on it last night. 
Last night I said 0 0.6.0, but the latest version on mod 0 0.8.0 runs like an absolute dream on in this game. And guys, I just want you guys to feast your eyes on ultra settings. It's incredible. Moving on. The next game is a Plague Tale Requiem. So I actually haven't played this game. Um, I badly want to. It's just sadly, whenever I start playing a game, I feel guilty if I'm not recording. So guys, um, previously, no matter what settings I use in this section in particular, the maximum frames I was getting is 35 to 40. Whereas now you can see ranging between 63 to 70 FPS. There's no ghosting. The only thing that there is, is whenever there's um, like um, text on screen, it does, the UI does glitch a little bit. But in terms of ghosting, it's been fixed with uh, version 0 0.8.0. Just to show you the settings I was using. Um, generally a mixture of low and medium. Uh, with DLSS on quality and frame generation enabled by the mod. But you can see uh, it's quite frugal settings. But then again, if any of you played Plague Tower uh, Requiem before, you know that this section on a 1650 laptop, you're generally going to get about 35 frames. And now the game runs smooth as butter and shit. And that doesn't make sense. Right, on to the last game. Right, the last game on the list is Spider-Man Miles Morales. Um, could easily have been Spider-Man Remastered. I just find that the swinging is a little bit better in Miles. And this costume is dope as shit. But I actually prefer Remastered as a game though. But guys, um, I am using the latest version of the mod 0 0.8.0. And as you can see... FPS is high, settings I'm using is generally very high, texture quality very high, 16 times anthropic, shader quality very high, ambient occlusion highest, and then my CPU settings I put on low because I've got an i5 10th generation, but everything is pretty much on high, and just look at those frames, look how smooth this game is, but mostly just look at miles. Morales shit swinging due to me recording a video. Shame, man. Anyways, guys, that's my list. Um, honorable mentions, probably Cyberpunk, but I can't quite give it to Cyberpunk or put Cyberpunk on the list because of the ghosting issues. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Uh, you know, when you drive a car, the frames are very good, but the, the ghosting on the car is quite annoying. And then Uncharted is also quite good with this frame generation mod, but arguably the game already ran well and it's pretty beautiful. You didn't really need the mod. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. It's people like you. I'll go away. Cheers.